What's up, guys? I have a bit of a cold, so if I sound a little bit different, I apologize. But I have two puzzles for you today, both from Friedrich Aimlung. This first one's from 1907, and the second one here is from 1902. And they're both relatively short, but they have some nice ideas. Not super difficult, but still kind of clever. So if you'd like to pause, what's the winning move here for white? And I need to point out this black pawn is going down the board in this direction. It's one space away from becoming a queen. White to play and win. All right, well, if you had a chance to look at that, maybe you noticed one of the problems here is how do we actually control this queening square? Because we can't really do it. If we go with the rook, black simply takes us. Of course, we don't want to sacrifice. We need to keep our rook alive if we want to win the game. And the bishop can't control this square. What you need to do is play bishop to e2 check, trying to lure the king away. That's the only move here. And of course, if black decides to take the bishop, well, then we grab the pawn and we're happy. We're going to win the, the king and rook against the king. The other thing black might try is to come over here, but then they've blocked their own pawn, which means they can't push it to get a queen. So we could simply play bishop d3, and now we're going to take this pawn next move, one of these pieces. And so the only thing that they could do is go to king to d2. And they're still trying to keep this threat alive, although you might notice something that they've walked into a pin, which does give us some options. So white to play and win. What's the winning move here? If you had a chance to look at that, the move is king to a2. And if you played anything else, it wouldn't work. So for example, maybe rook to a2, just trying to keep the pin like this, allows black to go king c3. They're threatening to get a queen here, and you really have no good way to stop that. And so you do have to play king to a2. And black uh, is kind of running out of moves here. They don't they still don't want to take this because they lose the pawn. They don't want to move here or here because they lose the pawn. And they don't want to move here because they block the pawn from becoming a queen. So they go king to c3. And again, it's white to play and win. What's the winning move for white? You had a chance to look at that. It's rook to b3 check. And we're just setting up the follow-up here. Of course, if the black king goes away, we simply bring our king over and we stop the pawn like that. And so black is forced to go back to d2. And now we have the kind of the finishing touches to the puzzle. White to play and win. If you had a chance to look at that, it's rook to d3 check. And now we have forced the black king to do what it doesn't want to do. Either go in front of the pawn like this, in which case we could simply slide behind and then bring our king over. Or if they decide to take our bishop, we have the same exact situation happening. The rook comes over, threatening to take the pawn. And when they come over, king to b2, not only are we threatening just to take it, but more importantly, we have the queening square controlled as well, so we can simply take that. There's really nothing else that black can do. So nice little maneuvering there with the rook and the bishop to force this situation where we could capture the pawn with our rook. Congratulations if you solved that. And now let's go ahead and jump over to the second puzzle right here. This one was from 1902. And again, it's white to play and win. What do you think the winning move is for white? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, I'm going to say a lot of you might have suggested the move knight to f6. And it looks like a really good try because we're trapping the king, of course. And we're threatening to checkmate with the rook here or maybe even here, depending on what black is going to do with the queen. Seems promising, right? I mean, if black tries to stop this checkmate, we come down here. It's pretty good. If they try to stop that one, maybe go here. We have the checkmate over here. Good idea, but black has an amazing move here. Wait for it. Queen to g5 check. Forcing us to either capture or, well, we have to capture. We can't do anything else. But once we capture, it's now a stalemate. And black escapes with a draw. Okay, so that's the, the idea, and that's the problem. We go knight to f6. A good try, but the winning move is actually knight to f4 instead and what's interesting about this move is we're actually allowing the queen to put us in check. We don't really care because if they put us in check, we block with the knight. And when they move, we have this beautiful checkmate here with the rook. I mean, this is, this is nice stuff, right? But black says, well, I don't want to put you in check then. I'll simply move my king, get away from the check right away and start to actually try to escape over here if you let me. And so if you'd like to pause, what's the, the winning move for white now? 
you had a chance to look at that. Uh, the move is rook to g7 check, actually forcing the king away. Now, if you thought knight to g6, thinking that you're still going to go for the same checkmate, black actually has any number of moves that they could play, but maybe the simplest is just queen to h5 check. Again, the same idea. It's a stalemate, okay? So that stalemate trap was really a big problem in this puzzle that you had to avoid, all right? So that is why rook to g7 check avoids any stalemates. This is a good rule for beginners. If you're worried about stalemate, always play a check and you'll never have stalemate, right? Because worst case scenario, it's a checkmate, right? Or it's just a check and they have to move, but you'll never get stalemate if you play a check. Of course, if they go in the corner, then we can come in for this beautiful checkmate. So black says, okay, I'm gonna run the other way. And it kind of looks like they're about to escape. What do we do now? Got a chance to look at that. The move is knight to e6 check. And it really looks like they're escaping now, but wait a second. Now you can see the final idea of the puzzle. We actually weren't going for checkmate at all. We have a fork here to finish off the game this way. After the king moves somewhere, we simply take the queen. And of course, we're going to be able to win with the rook and knight and king. So very clever idea. I mean, there was a lot of checkmate threats in the corner there. But if the king decided to run, you had to see this idea of forcing the knight fork. So very clever little puzzle there. Hope you guys enjoyed those too. Let me know if you found those or not, and I'll see you next time. Stay sharp. Play smart. Take care.